Hello everyone, this is Miriam and welcome to my art studio. I'm so excited to show you what we are going to do today. But uh, here I'm just uh, making some samples of the colors we are going to use for this tutorial. And the first one is Naples yellow and then it's indigo and then it's Indian red and least. The last one is Quinacridon Rose. And then I'm also going to use some gold. And uh, I will call this a uh, rose gold. So. And yeah, in a minute you will see what we are going to do today. Here we are, we are going to paint this beautiful rose today. But first we are going to do the sketch. And I use a compass to draw the circles. And uh, I put it at six centimeters. And then I just check if uh, it fits on the page. And then I do three circles on the page. Uh, later in the video I will uh, put in a picture where you can see the sketch more clearly because it's a bit difficult here. But um, I sketch in three circles and then I sketch in two small circles. And they are half of the big ones, uh, three centimeters with, when you use the compass. Uh, yeah. After I've sketched in the circles, I sketch in the rows. And now I sketch in some leaves, uh, which I'm going to be painting with the gold color later on. So. And here's the sketch. You can just pause the video and do your drawings if you want to. And now um, I'm going to mask off the rows because I I don't want to be afraid to uh, when I paint the circles in the background to uh, that uh, the color will bleed into the rows. So and here's a tip for you: I have an old brush and I dip it in water and then I dip it in the soap. And then I go to the masking fluid and when you do this the masking fluid won't stick to your brush but I will not recommend that you use a new brush use an old brush just in case And now I start to paint the first circle and I use the Naples yellow to do this. Um, you can also call this color flesh tint or something like that. Um, or peachy. Um, so and uh, it's so nice I don't have to uh, be careful not to hit the rose because I have masked it out. So that's very nice. Thank you. 
And now I paint the second circle with the Indian red. And uh, you don't have to be careful around the leaves, uh, not to hit them, because the gold we are going to use on them later on will cover up uh, the co color underneath. So just go ahead and just put in a good amount of paint. And uh, it's okay if there's some places in the circle where the paint is lighter and some place where it's darker. And uh, then I pick up the indigo and paint the last circle. Um, and uh, I didn't mind if the paints would run together, but it didn't do on uh, this uh, recording. So, uh, but that I wouldn't mind that either because I think it gives a nice touch to the painting. So you can try it out and see how it looks. But yeah. And then uh, when I've painted the indigo circle, I will go ahead and paint the little circles and uh, the uh, upper one I paint with the indigo and uh, the down below I will paint with the Naples yellow. And here I just put in some drops of the gold color into the wet paint. It gives a nice effect, I think. And now it's time to rub off the masking fluid. And I just use my finger because I think that's the most easy way to do it. I've seen other people use rubbers and all kinds of other th stuff to take it off, but I think it works best with the finger. You got more feeling with it when you do it with your fingers. So, And then I dry everything off to make sure it's completely dry. But anyways, we're going to paint the rose first, but um, I don't want to put my hand in some wet paint or something like that, so... And now I paint the rose with the... Uh, I, I paint it with one layer of the quinacridone rose and I just uh, put an even amount of the color all over the rose. And then I will go in later to uh, define the rose leaves some more. Um, and you can see me do that here. I go around uh, the edges of the leaves, uh, sort of uh, following the drawing underneath. And then I, uh, I put some pigment on my brush and I follow the line of the rose. Uh, and then I drag out the paint with some water afterwards to blend everything in. And you can see I do it here now. I have just wet the brush and then I, I uh, use the wet brush so it flows out into the flower. And I define this uh, side of the rose leaf too. And you just put the uh, more pigmented paint uh, where you think there could be some shadows on the rose underneath uh, the other leaves and places like that. 
and I just do it uh, all the way around and it's it's quite simple I only right now I only use the queen of grid and rose I think later on I drop in a little bit of indigo some places to make some shadow effect And now I have just dried the rose because I didn't want uh, things to blend too much together. It was too wet and and then I go back in and define the edges uh, uh, where I think it's needed. You take it step by step and you look and you see and where do you think there needs to be some something to be defined. And then you go in with the color and uh, around the edges and you take the water and you blend it all together. That looks very nice. I think it gives a very natural look when you do it like that. Now it's time to paint the leaves, so I pick up the gold color. I spray it with a spray bottle because it helps it to be more moist and easy to work with. And then I go ahead and paint the leaves. And uh, the paint is quite opaque uh, when you paint it over the other paint or over the other circles underneath. <laughs> Uh, and I I also paint the stem with the gold color. Everything here will just be gold. <laughs> and you can see it better now. And now it's time to let everything dry off. And take a cup of coffee and please if you enjoyed this video please give it a like and please subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment down below if you want to see some more of this or you want to see some other things I could do tutorials on yeah and now I go on with the ink pen uh, and I define the edges in the rows uh, and you could absolutely choose not to use the ink pen, pen on the rose if you prefer it to just be uh, without the ink. Um, now I have jumped the video a bit and uh, you can see uh, the rose. Uh, and uh, Now I paint some uh, leaves. Uh, or do some lines on the leaves um, but I don't do it on all the leaves um, and later on you will have a close-up of the rose where you can see the lines better I've what I've painted on the rose so and I uh, shift between the the pens because they have different sizes and if I want the line to be a bit thicker, I use a thicker pen. So I, I thought the rose needed some more definition around the outer leaves. So and I paint in some more shadow. I, I just paint uh, some lines. Uh, yeah.
So now I go on and uh, paint some leaves with the ink pen and uh, the, these leaves were not on the sketch but I felt like it needed some leaves so I painted that in and uh, I have also pain painted the stem for the rose uh, that was just a lot of lines all the way down so quite simple actually And now I just picked up my brush because I wanted to put some more color into the rose. I actually ended up with uh, dabbing most of it all off with a paper towel. But anyways, I had to try it. Um, yeah. I thought the rose needed some stronger color on it, but and I tried it out, I didn't think it worked out anyway, so I dabbed most of it off again, but perhaps a little bit of it <laughs> stuck. <laughs> There you go, the finished painting and a close up of the rose as promised. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this video and hope to see you soon in another one.